the city of Cupertino recognizes the need for ambitious climate action. In 2015, the city council adopted a climate action plan, which set the stage for programs and services that help residents to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in our city. In 2018, we actually achieved our goal of lowering our emissions by 15%. We are now releasing a draft plan that is a roadmap for the next decade. It outlines steps the city and community members can take that will both lower pollution and improve quality of life. The plan is like a roadmap to a city that is not emitting any greenhouse gas pollution by the year 2040. That's what we call a carbon neutral city. A major milestone comes in the year 2030, where we hope to have a 66% reduction in emissions. We will do this by adopting newer technologies, retrofitting our buildings, and reducing our reliance on the gas automobile. The plan also addresses climate adaptation. This is to acknowledge that we need to become more resilient to an increase in floods, droughts, and poor air quality. The plan is designed into five sections, energy, transportation, waste, natural environment, and adaptation. Let's take a closer look at each of these sections and some of the key measures that are proposed. Energy. In 2019, the city created a new ordinance that requires new buildings to be all electric. Our new roadmap sets the stage for local programs, rebates, and services to help individuals and businesses navigate this energy transition. Transportation. Transportation makes up a large share of greenhouse gas emissions in Cupertino. The draft plan is a roadmap to a future where we don't rely on gasoline to get around. With gas prices approaching $6 today, we anticipate benefits to the household pocketbook as well from this effort. Waste and consumption. This section focuses on education to reduce, reuse, recycle, and compost. Food and organic waste are major contributors to greenhouse gases. Reducing this waste will be a major focus in the next few years. Working with nature. The draft plan hopes to build upon our strong programs for outdoor access, recreation, and protecting biodiversity. For example, creating an urban forestry strategy to plant new trees in the next 10 years. Adaptation. The adaptation strategies we've identified are, one, protect public health and increase resilience. Two, ensure natural system resilience and use nature-based solutions. And three, continue incorporating the best available climate science into planning. These actions are all essential to meet the 2030 emissions reduction goal, but additional measures and technologies will be required as part of future planning to attain the long-term goal of a carbon neutral city by 2040.